<laughs> well, that didn't work as planned. No, no, no. It's, no. it's, it's all right. It's okay. What's going on, YouTube? What's up, everyone out there in Vapeland? Happy motherfucking Fourth of July! You guys are fucked up right now, aren't you? Yeah. You're drinking. You're smoking some weed. I know. It's all right. You still got a couple minutes to watch this review, so don't drink and drive. By the way. Yeah, cut that shit out. Um, Matty Ice from Convicted Vapes. Tristan also with Convicted Vapes. There you go. We are back for another quality e-juice review for you, the vaping public. Now, I know it's been a while since me and Tristan been together, but that does not mean we gave up on you guys. No, I've been busy. We've both been busy. Starting to slow down a little bit, so we're going to try to pump out these reviews as much as possible. Note the pluralization. Reviews. Reviews. Oh, God, there's vape shit everywhere, guys. There's fucking... I have mountains... Mountains of e-juice. He does. I got a filing cabinet. He does. I, it's actually I had sad. I buy a filing cabinet <laughs> and file the juice. Whole juice lines in bags, marked, tagged. Whole filing cabinet. I have garbage bags filled with unopened vape mail. I'm trying, guys. I work 10 hours a day. It's tough, but I'll get to everything. I got a bunch of, bunch of hardware I'm going to be doing. But anyway, let's cut to the chase here. We're doing an e-juice review here. I'm getting off the beaten path. But uh, we're doing a company, This give, it brings me great joy that this company sent me the entire line to review, because it's an OG company, mm -hmm. um, they've been doing it for a while now, uh, they've been making like gourmet e-liquid back when this thing first whole started, this whole gourmet e-liquid thing, top shelf e-liquid, they were one of my favorite, they made one of my favorite juices, which I did review um, on the channel, you can go back and look at it, but the company is called Blue Label Elixirs. Blue Label Elixirs, and the review I did was on Daddy's, and it was like a, a kiwi custard is what it was, so they sent me the whole line, thank you Blue Label Elixirs, I'm sorry it took me so long to do this review, but I'm here now, so better late than never. Um, I'm not going to do the Daddy's, obviously, but I have the whole rest of the line, minus one, so there's going to be minus two flavors, but the rest of the line I have... Um, yeah, but we're going to start off with, there's a couple flavors, they sent me this nice... I mean, this company is... Everything about them is nice. Everything they yeah, do, the, the juice is good. And it's beautiful presentation. They sent me this nice... Wooden box. Oh, classy. Classy with uh, all the flavors in there. Very nicely done. And they sent me doubles of everything. Thank you. So I'm going to put this away and save it for a rainy day. Maybe do a giveaway or something like that. Um, but they sent me these gorgeous flavor cards as well, Blue Label Elixirs. Um, the one we're going to start off with, there's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six flavors all together. The Daddies I already did, the Kiwi Custard, so that's already on the channel. I'm not going to do that one. And the King Louie I'm not going to do either because that was not in the box for some reason. I don't know if I just put it somewhere and forgot about it or uh, I don't know. But anyway, uh, I'm going to be starting off with Granddaddy. And I have it right here. I actually opened the box because I have a bottle open with the label peeled off. I want to show you what the actual label looks like. Bam. That's it right there. Beautiful glass 30 mil bottles that are square. They're thick ass bottles. You could probably drop this on cement and it won't break. Um, beautiful labeling. Serious. Yeah, they're serious bottles. Glass dropper. Beautiful 30 mil bottles. But I have one opened already. And while you're gonna drip that to, uh, you know, get this ready to go, I would like to point out that I noticed when you were uh, pinching on it before, that is a really solid dripper. It like, is. It's like, it's solid. It's, it's a like one of those weak sauce ones. Where you have to no, like, come on. It's no. not like the average thirty mil dropper where it's like mm -hmm. cheap and it drips everywhere. No, it's that's what the bottle looks like underneath the label. But this granddaddy, these are all in three milligram nicotine, by the way. Um, this granddaddy is going to be a robust custard with a long, milky hazelnut aftertaste. So basically, it's hazelnut custard, basically. And uh, it's a 70-30. Tristan, tell him. Now, this, this information he's going to give you goes with all the flavors. So we're just going to mm -hmm. do this once. All right. Uh, it's available at uh, kidneypuncher.com. There was a, They have a website. It's made by Vapor Lounge. But the shop section at the time now. It is under maintenance, so I can't use that. Yeah. So, uh, but it comes in a thirty for twenty-two dollars and a two forty for one hundred and twenty, 
and nicotine strengths of 0, 1.5, 3, 6, 12, and 18. Yep. So you get a 120. For, I mean, a 200, 240 for 120. 240 mil bottle for 120 bucks. That's not bad at all. That's great pricing. Um, very nice juice. It's, you can see it's got the consistency of a 70-30. If I was to guess what this was, it would have been a 70-30. So... Um, but let's do a little smell test here. I got this loaded up in the Aeolus light with dual M-Turk alien coils coming in at 0 0.16, 0 0.15, 0 0.16 on the Margarita box, which is a great box mod. Nice. I reviewed that too. This fucking thing is gorgeous. Let's get a smell test here. What I'm getting is a vanilla custard, a nice robust vanilla custard with a, a, a milky caramel hazelnut. That's what I get. It smells fucking delicious. That 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 hazelnut note is so good. Yeah, it's, it's so good. It's like almost like a caramel milk, a milky caramel hazelnut with a vanilla custard. I love hazelnut. Love it. Love vanilla custard. So this sounds like it's right up my alley. I hate hazelnut coffee, but I love hazelnut vapes, and this is gonna. I, I'm excited right now. This is gonna be good. Yeah, I can tell just by the smell. All right, so let's do vapor production here. Mm. Very nice vapor production for a 70-30. Do I even have to say it? Thick, milky clouds that linger in the air. They don't dissipate too quickly. Nope, they do not. It clouds. Very, very nice vapor production for 7030. I'll give it a solid four on vapor production. Oh, yeah, especially for 7030. Solid mm -hmm. four. On a scale of one to five, solid four. Mm -hmm. As far as throat hit, let me drip a little more in here. This Aeolus Light is great. Yes, it is. Excellent piece, especially for its price. Yeah, 40, 45 bucks. It's a mm -hmm. fucking great atomizer. But anyway. The flavor out of it is insane. Absolutely insane. On a scale of low, medium, and high, definitely low. Very low. On the throat yeah. hit. No smooth. no throat hit. Smooth as butter. It's caramel, milky caramel smooth, man. Um, no burning or stinging out the nose. Smooth. It's great. Um... And it's such a pleasant vape. It is a pleasant vape. It's a very pleasant vape. It's quality. You can taste the quality. It's clean. You know what I mean? Very. It's very clean tasting juice. As far as flavor, what are you getting out of this? I'm um, getting the custard note. The custard note is very nice. It's very, very prominent on the inhale. The exhale is a very, very... What's, it's, I wouldn't say bitey, because bitey sounds like it's like a throat hit, but it's... You know what I mean? But it is, with the hazelnut. It's almost got in. a tang. Yeah. Like a tanginess to it. But it's a hazel tang, not like a citrus tang. It's, no. It's different. It's a hazelnut, yeah. yeah. I good. get ex I get exactly what they say. I get yeah. a robust vanilla custard. Mm -hmm. You get those beautiful vanilla custard notes, and you get a milky hazelnut. It's almost like a. It almost tastes like there's caramel in it. Mm -hmm. I don't know if there is caramel or not in it, um, but it does taste like a milky, almost like the caramel from a Milky Way yeah. mixed with hazelnuts. Yes. Delicious juice. This is a easily a two thumbs up. This is very pleasant. I wouldn't say this is something for cloud chasing, even though you can cloud chase with sure. it, but this is something you vape for flavor. Yeah. This is great. And being that it's a 70-30, it'll drip nice, it'll work good in tanks. Um, it's just an all-around good solid, juice. Solid, solid juice. It really is. I mean, they really outdid themselves with this one, guys. You did good. Because I, I love hazelnut vapes. It's actually one of my favorites, and it's hard to come by one that just you could stick with for the entire day, you end up getting bored with it. I could vape this all day, yeah. no problem. Blue Label Elixirs, they make good juice, man. They never let me down. They're a solid company. You can tell they take pride in what they do. Mm -hmm. but, uh, Which apparently has become quite rare as of late. Quite rare, yeah. yeah and dude. they haven't changed at all. Guys, I don't know if you noticed this, but it's fucking crazy out there in the vape world. Yes, yes it is. The vape game is <laughs> fucked up, man. It's all kinds of You fun. got fucking, there must be... A couple hundred thousand companies trying to make e-liquid, just trying to cash in on some bullshit, some straight bullshit juice. They, it's like they don't even give a fuck what they're putting in the bottle. They just throw it together, and all right, here you go. Let's let's fucking cash in on this shit. I have a group you should join. 
<laughs> oh, wait. Shameless plug. Get the He's shit already out here. of here. No, fuck you. You, you get enough here. free publicity. Anyway. <laughs> publicity. Anyway, um, yeah, we're going to do... An, we're going to do... A couple more flavors. I'm going to pause the camera, come right back. I'm going to re-wick this so we can get the true flavor. I don't want to drip. Because the, the other ones they have are some fruits. So mm -hmm. hang, ha hang tight. All right, guys. I got the Aeolus re-wicked. Some fresh cotton in there. Um, next one we're going to do is called Soho. It's the white label. And Soho. I got it. Yeah. Oh, okay. I have no idea what oh, doing. sorry about that, buddy. It's all good. The Soho is a mouthwatering mixture of huckleberry and ripe blueberry with subtle undertones of luscious honeydew and watermelon. Hmm. So it's a huckleberry, blueberry, honeydew, and watermelon, basically. Again, three milligram nicotine. Let's do a. You do the smell test this time. Tell me oh, what you I'm smell. Oh, I'm honored. Thank you. Yeah, feeling lazy tonight. Oh man, I hate fruit vapes, but that smells delightful. You get watermelon is dominant. Oh yeah, I was about to say yeah. The watermelon's definitely dominant, and I I, I can smell the um. What's it? The um, the honeydew melon. It's very subtle. The honeydew. It is. So that's what I was looking for because it should be. It yeah. shouldn't be like a really powerful smell because if it is, it's going to be harsh. I can't smell the other two through it because the watermelon really dominates, but man. Yeah, the blueberry you don't really good. smell. And you know what, though? Nothing for nothing. It's not a candy smell to me. No, it's that's not. That's the thing. It's, it's, it's like a fruit medley, fresh fruit medley. See what I mean? Watermelon. I get watermelon Jolly Rancher. <laughs> or that. Um, I like how the usually watermelons are pink just from the flavoring concentrates because mm. they're pink, most of them. This is clear as a whistle. It's clear as water, guys. No food coloring or anything like that. Gotta love it. Mm -hmm. um, let me drip a little bit more on here. All right. Vapor production... I'm going to skip all that because these are all 70-30s. Vapor production is the same as the last one. Great vapor production. Mm -hmm. Throat hit, smooth as butter. It gives you a little tickle in the back of the throat. A little bit. That's the citrus. Though. I don't get much of a, yeah, I don't, I don't, there's no citrus in it. Right. It's the fruit. It's the fruit, yeah. I don't get any throat hit. But it is tasty. I don't get any stinging out the nose or anything. Let's get, I'm going to skip right to flavor with all the rest of these. Flavor's good. Watermelon's definitely the dominant flavor. It's a little bit of a candy watermelon, and you get that... Huck, I get the huckleberry. Now, I know most of you have not had a huckleberry vapes, but I have had a few huckleberry vapes, and I taste the huckleberry in there. Um, you also get a slight, slight honeydew melon. The honeydew melon is on the back of the watermelon. It's a really good fruit vape. Yeah. This is this is great juice. That stuff's fire. It's great juice. I'm I'm pretty impressed with this stuff. Definitely a good summertime vape. Yeah, that's good. You Thanks. get the huckleberry and the watermelon mixed together very nicely. I don't get any blueberry. I wasn't getting that either, strangely enough. Not a bad thing though. It is there, it's so slight, you can't even notice it. Your, the general population will not notice that blueberry. But this is a thumbs up, it's good. We're going to go to the next one. Read them, um, we're going to do the Frisco. Yes. The Frisco is an amazing mix of refreshing strawberry, pineapple, raspberry, and mango. And these are all fruits, the rest of them, so I'm just going to... I'm just going to blow this off and drip right on top of it, because it is a fruit. So what was it? What was it again? It was uh, strawberries, ma pineapple, raspberry, and mango. Strawberry, pineapple, raspberry, and mango. Smound, sounds great. Ooh, definitely pineapple and mango are dominant in this. Again, very clear liquid. It's got a slight pink tinge to it. Very slight pink tinge.
Oh, yeah. Definitely the dominant flavors for sure. Yeah, mango and pineapple are definitely dominant. I don't really get too much raspberry. No, I'm not getting that at which all. Which I, I like. I don't like a lot of raspberry. I don't like heavy raspberry flavored juices. It smells great. It does. I like raspberry flavored juices, but like I said, I'm not really a fruit person, so it's usually like a raspberry custard or something. Ooh. Mm hmm? Ooh. Wow. Yeah? Wow. Dude. All right, flavor, guys. Definitely the first thing I get on the inhale is pineapple and mango. You get the, the mango first, followed by the pineapple on the inhale. And on the exhale, you get a slight raspberry yeah. on the end of it. That raspberry note ending is nice. Yeah, it's nice. It's good. It's it's sweet. These juices are are, are a little bit sweet, but not overly sweetened at all, at mm -hmm. all. They're not too sweet. And this has a nice tart to it. It does. It's got a nice tartness. That pineapple ties it together beautifully. Oh, that's good. See what I mean, though. That pineapple just. Wow, yeah, guys, for you pineapple fans or mango fans, if you like the mango boba or uh, any type of pineapple juice, you're going to like this. This is a win. This is a win. This is good. This is a fucking, hands down, a fucking summertime vape. Oh, that's good. And it's so smooth. Yeah, it's very smooth. Very smooth. No throat hit at all. None. Personally, I think pineapple is something that's very hard to do right. Yeah, they did you know, this it'd right. Be harsh. The pineapple not... and the mango in this blend together really well. Perfectly. You get a nice raspberry on the end. Let me see that card. Yeah, that's what I'm tasting. I'm tasting strawberry in there too. That's good. It's a good strawberry too. It's a really well blended juice. Nicely done. Everything is wrapped up in the strawberry. It's 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 good. It's really good. The next one we're going to do is... Oh, yes. The Breezy, which is a summertime blend of fresh watermelon, cucumber, with mint. Watermelon, cucumber, and mint. That sounds pretty interesting. Hmm. Here's the bottle. I like how they went with mint instead of menthol. They kept it, um, you know, um, more of a... What's, what, what am I looking for here? Organic, if you will. Yeah, I don't like menthol. Oh, mint, either. mint. I can handle some mints. Yeah. Once in a blue moon, menthol is just no no go for me at all. Not a fan. And these these fruit ones, I've had their their two other flavors, which weren't fruits, but these fruits I have we've never tried. This is the first time we're trying this. Ooh. Hmm. Don't smell like it's gonna be for me. It smells really heavy on the mint. It does. And again, you know, mint overall is a very strong smell anyway, so it couldn't could not be. There's only one way to know, right? Yep, let's try it. Let's dig in. So remember we're looking for uh, watermelon, cucumber, and mint. The cucumber would be light anyway. I'm not, I don't I'm get not any cucumber, it. no. I don't get the cucumber. Let's shake this up. I really like that one. Pineapple. That was good. It was really good. Really strong mint smell. It doesn't smell like I'm going to like it. You never know, though. Mm -mm. I've smelled stuff I didn't like, and I tasted it, and it was good. This is awesome. Why does it smell like that? <laughs> Apparently. Yet again. Is that just cleared my nose. It is a little heavy on the mint. Yeah. Is it an unpleasant heavy on the mint is the question. I get the cucumber. Yeah? Yeah. I don't get the watermelon. Strange. Just happened. Hit the button harder. I know.
That's actually pretty good. The mint is like black in the face. Yeah. And it mellows right out. Yeah, it mellows right out. It's not it's not really it's not too overpowering on the mint. It's actually kind of nice. It is kind of, it is pretty good. You're right, it cleared my sinuses out too immediately. Like, yeah, uh, but it's not like a, a menthol mint. It's no, like a like a fresh mint. Like you ground up mint leaves. Mm -hmm. It's actually really good. And I get the slight cucumber on the back. It's like a fresh garden cucumber. Yes, exactly. It's actually quite refreshing. I get a slight, slight hint of watermelon back there somewhere. It's very subtle. It's mostly mint and cucumber. Mm -hmm. That's a good morning vape right there. That's a guaranteed open you right up in the morning. You're up and you're ready to go. Mm -hmm. That's actually pretty fucking good. Mm -hmm. Guys, I'm going to say if you're looking for something mint, I don't know who is, but I mean, if anyone's out there looking for a good mint vape, I would definitely give this a whirl. This breezy is pretty good. It is. Overall, I'm going to say, we're, we didn't do, uh, there was one flavor I was missing, uh, the King Louis, which was like a vanilla something, I forget what it was. I'll tell you right uh, now, the King Louis was a uh, uh, creamy vanilla ice bean, um, uh, vanilla bean ice cream topped with fresh sliced cantaloupe. Ooh. Yeah, cantaloupe and vanilla bean ice, that sounds wonderful, but I don't have that flavor. So, um, but these all have been good. I'm going to give this whole line a two thumbs up. I would definitely pull Second. the trigger on a couple. If any of them sound... Uh, Sound interesting to you? I would pull the trigger. I don't think you'll be disappointed. This is quality juice. It's clean. The nicotine's good. It doesn't make me feel like shit. Nope. Um, good fucking juice. All around good juice. This is this is good. Two thumbs up on the uh, the Blue Label Elixir. Good juice. OG's in the game, too, yep. man. They've been doing it like this for a long time. Same bottles. Good same company, quality. man. Good, same quality. Good it's company. Rare. Good company. Thank you. But the Daddy's uh, is the Kiwi cu kiwi Custard, which I didn't... We, I already reviewed it on the channel. It's old. I did that a long time ago. This one right here. Yeah, this is delicious. Watch the review I did on it. I, I went through a bunch of bottles of this. This is really good flavor, too. Uh, but I already reviewed it on the channel, so I'm not going to do it again. But two thumbs up on this line. That's all I got for you guys. Uh, all we got for you guys. You want to add anything to this? No, that's it, man. This is a great juice line. I'm actually thoroughly impressed. Yeah, it's good. It's good. And good people. They're really cool guys over there. Um, I, Blue Label Elixir, thank you for sending me this juice to review. Good job on all this stuff. Quality juice. Until next time, subscribe, comment, like, share. Check out the Convicted Babes Facebook group. There's an icon for Facebook on the top of my YouTube banner. Click that. It'll take you right to the group. Convicted Babes e-liquid is available at vvvapes.com. That's all I got. Until next time, keep calm, vape on, and take it fucking deep. So fucking deep. To the shoulder. And beyond. Bone marrow deep. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Heavy metal. <laughs>